Welcome to another episode of PowerShell Points, short thoughts from the weekly Torah portion. This week's PowerShell point comes from Mikates, which is Hebrew for at the end, and it goes from Genesis 41.1 to Genesis 44.17. This PowerShell tells the story of Joseph's interpretation of Pharaoh's dreams, which leads to his rise to power in Egypt. Due to a famine in the land of Canaan, Joseph's brothers travel to Egypt to buy grain where they encounter Joseph, who, at this point, is the second in command over all of Egypt. But after many years, Joseph's brothers didn't recognize him. Joseph orders his brothers to go back to Canaan and return with his brother Benjamin to Egypt. So they depart back home and return to Egypt with Benjamin. This power shock concludes with Joseph detaining Benjamin. There's a lot we can talk about in this Torah portion. Today, we're going to present a thought on healing and hope. Joseph faced many painful trials. Out of hatred and bitter jealousy, his own family betrayed him, threw him in a pit, and sold him into slavery. After that, he was falsely accused and sentenced to prison for a crime that he didn't commit. And yet, through a series of miraculous events in prison, Joseph was put into a position to directly advise the Pharaoh which led him to being given authority over all Egypt. Joseph's situation had entirely changed. He was no longer a slave or a prisoner, but second in command over Egypt. On top of that, God even gave him a wife and children. Genesis chapter 41. Before the year of famine came, two sons were born to Joseph. Asnath, the daughter of Potiphera, priest of An, bore them to him. Joseph called the name of the firstborn Manasseh. For, he said, God has made me forget all my hardship and all my father's house. The name of the second he called Ephraim, for God has made me fruitful in the land of my affliction. Sometimes in life, you might face difficulties that seem utterly unbearable in the moment. You might feel that life will never get better and you'll be stuck in the pain you feel forever. Maybe you've lost someone whom you've loved deeply. Maybe someone close to you, a spouse or a sibling or a parent, betrayed your trust or deserted you. Maybe in this moment, you are reluctant to believe that God even cares or that you'll ever heal from your heartache. Understand that you're not alone. Also, it's okay to not be okay. These deep and painful emotions are expressed all throughout the Bible. Read the Psalms sometime. Read Job. An entire book of the Bible, Lamentations, is literally a five-chapter lament in which Jeremiah bitterly cries out to God in agony and grief. Go ahead and let it out. However, also understand that in the midst of your despair, comfort and hope is available. God is near to the brokenhearted. In the midst of all of your pain, He is there with you, holding you. While it's difficult to see past our current situations and feelings when we're in pain, we must remember that there is hope. Like Joseph, God will bring us through, and we will be able to heal and move forward. In the world to come, there will be no more pain. This is the great hope that we can hold on to as believers. Even in this life, we're not doomed to despair. Our God is capable of turning things around pulling us out of our prison, if you will, and bringing us to a place where we can honestly say, God has made me forget all of my hardship. He did it with Joseph. Don't give up. Hope in God. Psalm 42. Why are you cast down, O my soul? And why are you in turmoil within me? Hope in God, for I shall again praise Him, my salvation and my God. Thank you for joining us for another PowerShell Point. We pray that you've been blessed by this teaching, and remember, continue to test everything. Shalom. It is because of you, our generous supporters, who make it possible to offer these high quality teachings completely free of charge. If you feel led to support 119 Ministries so that we can continue this effort, please visit testeverything.net and click on the Support 119 tab. Learn how you can partner with us to take the whole Word of God to the nations.